Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in another round in the next round and as you see um, I've already um, t put together the tarot mission this time not that hard but well 41 damage bonus for all enemies okay but with the plus 78 rating well let's actually see how that is going to turn out in the end. The web of heresy and corruption is spun by powerful beings and perverted by hunt their leaders, and this construct of evil will come crashing down. Well, I hope that, but whether you can talk about such stuff with turnips is the big question at hand but anyhow i'm not going to talk about that we are i have to say something um i do enjoy this mission or this map types because it is open it is not a imperial facility yada 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 the dust do you see that i think that looks great but um this mission type is the beginning for especially especially for this um, summoner class i think is quite hard because you are surrounded by a lot of enemies oftentimes and whether you go to the left uh, to the left or to the right you are constantly constantly pulling new enemies and that can tend to be as you see here very very nasty if the enemies are coming in constant hordes like so that is not good for the well-being of our little inquisitor right here that is the bad part but what am i even talking about turnit warrior is down that is good i'll go to the first strong point just going straight the enemy types i assume are going to be carnifexes and um one summoner unit okay now it is going to be a little bit dicey here because there is a um, there's a bit uh, a, a big cycle available a so on trope um, nasty nasty targets because they have a lot of of course they are psychers and they have a lot of psychic abilities which are not good for the lives of our wonderful little um, well wonderful little no don't surround me don't surround me help guys help please I need a tinsy little bit of help what you have seen in the last episode one there we were surrounded by nasty little gobblers which was absolutely well we nearly died there that is the key point i assume so this is the first time actually in this white crusade and i'm not talking about the overall um i'm not not talking about overall white crusades but now this the last couple of episodes where i the first time have been surrounded by a horde type enemy and it tended to be quite well we the nearly <laughs> nearly our death that is the first time that happened to me in the crystal and um, before i always thought well horde enemies what's the problem with them but here we can see what can happen okay nasty enemy in front of us i shall be on the lookout in order to resummon our constructs and bring the death to this wonderful toxic green as it's being called so it lost already half of its hp that is good but we nearly we now have lost our heavy tank there not heavy tank but oh yes our tank that's the right um right right there our damage tanking unit is gone that is not good we summon those little guys please jump at him he's down to 10,000 or under 10,000 HP which is good for us of course Success is measured in blood. of course dying in that way is not I'm afraid that's our last shot don't fail the Imperium is not very good and for the overall world crusade we only have one death remaining guys so that is nasty in the end as i said before it is always not good to die 
and dying in that way that you've already um, killed the enemy and then die because you are lingering around in its death um, in his um, toxin um, toxin cloud death cloud ah this is annoying should not happen but this is the point there are a lot of enemy or not a lot of some enemies in this game in this game do explode some not um, sometimes you can't tell the difference I can't tell when these guys are exploding and one not that is absolutely I think that is I can say for me it is it's a little bit annoying that is what I wanted to tell right here okay do you see how the Sun comes down here oh man love this game gotta love this give them devs a few drops for the goodness of this game and at least the goodness of looking of this game so please don't attack me. I am the squishy, the soft target. Um, in the end, this enemy type is not the toxic green is no problem to kill. Um, it is not easy to kill. That I don't want to say, but in the end, it is not hard to kill either. But um, you should not be greedy and just get into the death cloud of this guy. So did you see that he actually fun fact he killed all of our constructs which now of course need to be bloody resummoned after all so bringing this venom cannon turn it down good 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 the other one as well um our constructs are a little bit split up um not good after all but what shall we do against it it then Overall takes a little longer than focus firing on one target. So all the credits I of course take with me. We have one more target in front of us. The well big impact. The big impact is that we with every episode now need to be very careful. Um, as I said, we only have one more death available in the overall void crusade. That means the next death. And we are completely gone. And and such situations when you are suddenly surrounded by, not surrounded, but if groups of enemies are coming from the right and the left, then you need to get out of there very, very quickly. And that is not the coolest feeling of all. Oh, come on. The pull range is so immense here. Or the trigger range for these enemies is quite huge. Okay, come on. They are gone. Give me them credits. There the data fragment is. I still am going to take it. I'm ah as you can if, as you maybe ca as you can think about it if we still have then six five or six missions in front of us and they are slowly um, getting harder um, the difficulty is increased so of course with with one life um, it is absolutely it's hard to say whether we are in the end going to make it I hope I do hope that I still have hope there of course but I see our as you see how fast we can lose health here it is a dire situation oh come on constructs please and now please bring him just down bring him down bring the beast down And yes, I think at least this guy we are going to take down. That is good. So, okay, the explosion killed him as well. Woo! Okay, good. That is not that bad. Guys, that, sadly enough, already brings us to, actually, the end of this episode. We then will take a quick look at the items we have received with a little tinted bit of luck we will have a upgrade um 
and then we even will have a small tease in what is going to be the next episode and against which enemy type so against um eldari and a secure the artifact mission so one two three four five missions we have with one life in front of us with increasing difficulty but guys that right now as usual leads us to the end of this episode and you know it i as usual really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please guys give me a wonderful little thumbs up and subscribe that one is awesome i'll dig it um and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day see you frosty bye